I'm with Will. You can enter the video, Will. What's your channel name? Is it just your name? is going to be the juicy stuff. We're talking about friends, different friend groups, is LU clicky, dating, and ring by spring. My name's Mackenzie. Hey guys, I'm Daniel, I'm 19, and I'm a sophomore here at Liberty University. The only clubs that I do know that they definitely have are a student government club. Let's talk about our experience at Experience LU. LU has some certain friend groups. But I feel like there definitely are like different groups of people on campus. And I feel like there is a hierarchy, like. There's something called the Liberty Elite. But you still have those people who want to make new friends too. And the best ways to make friends at Liberty. Uh, I really don't know how this is all gonna work. Uh, what is the dating culture like at LU? Ring by spring. I'm not saying ring by spring, like every person at Liberty is you know so into dating but there it does exist you might have that one crazy guy or crazy girl come up like y'all start talking or something you go on one date and they're like oh it's meant to be and if that's the case get out of there because that's kind of weird any school where there is 13,000 15,000 people there will always be that if you party you kind of want to keep it quiet because you know a lot of people just aren't like that Today is Sunday the 16th, August 16th, and I move in tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. It is currently almost 3 p.m. today, and I barely have anything done. Yeah, I have a lot to do. I have so much to pack and to figure out what I'm bringing. I have a whole collection of things downstairs, and that's everything that I bought. This is so much work. I'm ready for school, but I'm not ready. I'm ready to be at Liberty. I'm ready to be in the culture. I'm ready to meet some new people, some friends, but uh, I'm not ready for the school aspect. I did work this morning, so that's why I'm late in the game packing today, but wish me luck, okay? Pray for me, thank you. Next is where I'm at. I have some decorations in here and then stuff for my desk. I have all of my jackets and crewnecks, which that looks like a lot. My pants, okay. I'm bringing those books. Those are gonna go on my desk. I have my socks. Those are basically all of my clothes. Well, besides that, <laughs> my shoes. Y'all, good morning. It is moving day. I'm up very early. Today is moving day. I'm going to do my makeup. I'm gonna get ready and then finish packing everything and go move into LU. Okay, I'm like low-key sweating, but everything's just about packed up. I'm just looking over everything, making sure that I have all of my belongings that I'm bringing with me to school. And yeah, this is not good lighting. Like. Hello, I am all moved in. I just met Kirsten and she's very nice. I'm very happy. I will say I had a little bit of um, a breakdown this morning just because, how do I explain this? I'm so used to college and I'm so used to the way the OD works and the people there, where the classes are, the whole environment and just the social norms and being here and just walking around on campus. There are a few things that kind of didn't go as planned today and that really got to me. But I just kind of looked around and I was like, I don't know where I am. I don't know any of these people. I feel so lost. I feel like I am 12 years old, surrounded by like 23 year olds. Not because I feel like I look young and that everyone else looks older, just because I don't know any of these people and I look like a freshman, which I kind of am because I'm new to the school, I'm just a junior. I just felt very out of place and this is all very, very different for me. I've never shared a room before, let alone share it with 
two other people. I've never lived in an apartment with seven people. I mean, it's just me and Kirsten right now, but there's going to be more people eventually. Liberty is a very, very big campus. It's massive and I don't know my way around and that's really, it's hard for me. I'm very self-sufficient and so not knowing how to do anything for myself and needing to rely on others, I think that's what gets me. Change in general, that's hard for me. I'm someone who likes things to stay the same and I may want change and I may want beneficial change, but like change in general is hard for me. So I was definitely crying a little bit this morning um, but I know that God has a plan I know that everything is going to work out and I'm just going to keep praying and have faith welcome to Liberty Christina <laughs> okay y'all it's really quiet here Hi, welcome back to my channel. And today is Monday. I'm waiting on Will and we're gonna get Star Ginger in Damas and it's currently raining. Really, really raining really bad. Y'all, that's Will. It's Will. Will, I'm glad you found us. <laughs> Will is gonna drive us to the bookstore to get our books. But first, we're gonna get some food mm -hmm. at... Star Ginger. Alright, let's go. Let's go. So, Star Ginger was closed, now we're at the Rot. Got some good stuff. Will's getting silverware. It's like, you really needed a fork and a spoon. I have no idea. No idea. Let's survey, let's survey what we got. Why did you get a fork and a spoon? Could you not decide what you wanted? I didn't know if, I, so I got this first. I didn't know if I was gonna need the fork for my food later. So right. I went ahead and got it. Right. You know, thinking Gee. ahead, big brain. So, like, are you gonna eat that first, or like? Oh. Um, I'll probably eat the, the gel first. <laughs> <laughs> I made a new friend. I made a friend named Vic. I think. Vic. He, yeah, he works at the salad station. Cute. Works in the. Like, I mean, yeah, he's pretty cute. But like, I'm working some other angle with some. Mmm. So I got a friend who works in the bakery, the cookies. Now I have a friend in the pasta station, and today I met Vic. It's, it's a pretty good day, and it looks like it kind of stopped raining. See, we'll just like pan out behind Will. <laughs> oh, you can't even tell in the lighting. But it, it looks did, like it stopped it's raining. raining. It's raining. It's still raining. So now we're gonna eat the rot and pretend like we're not heard about Star Ginger. Also, the rot coffee is some of the best coffee on campus. They have Dunkin' and Starbucks, but like, you have options at the Rye and you get free refills, tea. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday. I think it's September 1st. Um, it's almost 7.30 in the morning and we're on our way to get Tina. Props to Mama K for driving me. She's a true homie. Mama K. Oh, there's the truck that towed you. Why don't we just follow them? In half a mile, turn right on towards road. Okay, so I'm currently booking into class right now. It's like 8.12 and my class starts at 8.15. I'm almost to Damas, but Tina is safe. She is home and I got a low-key good parking spot. So that's kind of everything. But yeah, I'm gonna go learn about the Old Testament. I have my note slides printed out that I need to fill in and it's gonna be a good day. I'm just going to go to my last class of the day, anatomy part two, wish me luck, please pray for me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 2.30. Oh, there's a lot of mud. Ooh, walk through mud. Ah, and my white feelers. We are going back to the dorm. We're gonna, you know, try to be studious students and get some work done. I have so much to do, especially yeah. for my creation class. And Mama K, she's got a lot. We, yeah, we have to take, well, I have to take like a uh, standardized test thing so then I can get my teacher license. Yo, also, um, Mama K is thinking of starting a podcast for like Liberty students. Do it? I think you should. I think, I think it has to be a move. <laughs> Me and technology are not buddies sometimes, so that's why I, my YouTube channel is a little dead, everybody. You know, but yo, subscribe to Mama K. Mama K's content Mama is K's top one. Is dead, okay? Mama K is having a revival, okay? Yo, comment Mama K's revival 2020. <laughs> Honestly, though, yeah, if you want the podcast, let her know because she gave you the tea on Liberty. 
but I don't know, I don't even know when this would go up. I don't even know how this documentary is gonna go. So like, I don't even... Oh boy. I think it's gonna be three parts. These games really, they do it. <laughs> they do it. They sure do. Hi guys, so it is um, 4.22 and I am very, very tired. I woke up at six. I know you already know this, but you know, have to recap so you understand my struggle. I'm with Mama K, who's really watching me. <laughs> right now we're just doing homework and I'm about to um, watch a lecture video for my creation class. When it gets to, I think, 5, 5.05ish, 5 we're gonna walk down to Damas and we're gonna grab food. I'm at the library now with Mama Madison. <laughs> you can't sit with us. I guess I can. No, wait, come. We're currently in the library right now, trying to do some anatomy. Will may or may not show up. Also, this is my mood right now, because Will's, Will's not here. Friendship goals. <laughs> <laughs> so who's it gonna be? Huh? Who's it gonna be? I was gonna think about it. <laughs> I mean, he's on my side of the <laughs> Well, because that's what was available. I'm a little bit harder to get, you know? Uh oh. The hole. <laughs> See? See? Her husband's See? better than mine. Too long. You just. <laughs> Hey, it's Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. I like mine better. Is he Cloudy with he a chance of meatballs? He asked me what the weather was, so I said Cloudy with a chance of, and he said Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. It's supposed to be really nice tomorrow. It's supposed to be like 91, but cloudy, but 91. So it's not going to be that bad. Christina Lodging. <laughs> oh my gosh. I forgot the cloud. Well, do you have anything you want to say to your people? Um, who are my people? Who am I talking to? Uh, Your viewers? Yeah, my friends. Uh, give me something to say. 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 So we're back together. Yeah, we're back together. Yes. Oh, I we guess are? so. Big. You just called me big beautiful girlfriend. That's stupid cross out. So, <laughs> was that a rush of adrenaline? <laughs> I didn't even flinch. I wasn't even scary at all. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go play spike ball? Yo, it's really popping. Spike ball or die, honestly. <laughs> I'm really tempted, but we're not. Just... Yeah, go cook Eat, live, breathe, spike ball. 23, how has your faith been influenced by LU? How has your faith been influenced by LU so far? How has your faith been influenced at Liberty? Okay, y'all, this is my favorite type of thing to talk about when people bring up Liberty. My faith has grown so much since going to Liberty. I think LU really, really did save my faith. Uh, you know, Liberty is great at a lot of things, but one of the things they're best at is encouraging their students to grow in their relationship with the Lord. And I personally, I will say that I felt like I grew a lot in just the year that I was there. Everybody messes up, everybody makes mistakes, and everybody has different views of what is right and what is wrong, but everybody's trying to be the best version of themselves for like Christ. And I've like found my convictions and why I believe what I believe. I tried to surround myself with people who were gonna encourage me, you know, one of my best friends was like, yeah, you know, you need to read your Bible every day, you need to do this, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a trillion things going around you, you need to find that time to read your Bible um, every day. The LU doesn't uh, spoon feed you your faith. Uh, I feel like they uh, actually just put it out on a plate for you, you know, lead you to the water where they don't make you drink. And I think that's what's beautiful about the university. My faith has really grown a lot since coming to LU. The professors are very encouraging. The professors are all Christians, obviously. I think all of them. 
Start every class with prayer. Encourage you. Every professor will encourage you. You start every class with a prayer. Even just like prayers before class um, and like devotions that your teachers do, you can tell they're doing it because they want to, not because it's like something to check off their list. They're really invested in their students, which is another thing that I that I love and that's also part of why I chose Liberty. Liberty definitely encourages students to grow in their walk with the Lord, like absolutely. Uh, some of the classes are just really fantastic to help you better understand our faith. Uh, Evangelism 101 was very influential for me. Bible 105, Bible 110, theology. Since being at LU, gotten to take a Old Testament class and a New, New Testament class, which are required, but it's one of the things that like the best things I've ever done because really before I wasn't getting into the word nearly as much as I should have and now I've really been encouraged to get into the word every day and I'm actually almost done reading the bible like cover to cover which is something that I've been wanting to do for so so long and I've just been pushing it off but just that having the kickstart for me to do that and now just continuing to get into the word every day has really um strengthened my faith. They do do a lot of events like Convo, like I said, convocation is a huge part of that. I really enjoy convocation, which doesn't always deal with your faith, um, but it does occasionally. It's a good opportunity to show that you love and support someone who doesn't agree with you, and that's very uncommon in this world, and I think it shows Christ's love more uh, in a more effective way than just saying that we care and love for a person. We can actually show it when they bring a speaker with a different um, you. One of the biggest things I think is definitely campus community. Campus community. Campus community. We've only had a couple so far, but it's like amazing the impact that they've had. Pastor David Nasser is like the goat. Like he always knows what to say. Campus community I really enjoy. It's uh, pretty much like a college youth group vibe ish. Very good. Highly recommend it. The community groups, CGLs. You know, on campus, you have CGL groups. My CGL was amazing, and she really encouraged me to go to campus community with her. And the series at campus community this past semester was One Conviction. And it was about that one conviction that we are to fully commit in, like, every possible way of our lives to live our lives fully for Christ. Alright, hey, y'all, it's currently downpouring, and I'm supposed to be going to the Rot again because I live at the Rot and meet Kenzie, get some dinner before campus calm, but it's literally a full blown out storm. But in case you're wondering, like this is my fit, I am I might have to change the feelers if it's raining, but I have my Liberty shirt on. Then I have my mask, of course, because we are being safe. We are being considerate of other people. We are, you know, that herd immunity. That's what we're going for, okay? Okay. <laughs> This is Campus Community Night! Say hi! Hi! It's Jamie! Say hi! Say hi. <laughs> Uh, fake Luke, Robert, um, how excited off. are you for Campus Community Night? One to ten, uh -huh. Campus Community. Okay. Oh, sick, yeah. sick. Literally. What about you? I can't wait. We're about to grind on the worship. It's going to be sick. You know they're playing Graves into Garden, gentlemen. Shoot. That's how you know it's going to be a good soon. night. Uh, I was the grave. Now look at this. <laughs> First one's in, last one's out. Let's go. Campus community night on fire for the Lord. We just talked to Pastor David Nasser. This man is very insightful. He gave us a, a sneak peek for the next. <laughs> All right. He gave us a sneak peek of the sermon for next time. Kind of everything. RAs, RSs, like everyone who is 
involved in your life at Liberty and like leadership or whatever, they will all be encouraging you. My walk with the Lord has been so much better just having that amazing community of Christian friends to surround me and really build me up and like get me excited about that. Knowing that like all my joy truly comes from the Lord and nothing else has been so amazing and just to have friends to walk alongside you like brothers and sisters in Christ to reaffirm that and but just having constant worship we have uh, prayer nights I don't know just really encourage you to like worship the Lord and you get to worship the Lord together is so so amazing one of my favorite things is the 24-hour prayer chapel nights that they do they leave the prayer chapel open 24 hours another thing is there's people around campus that pray literally 24 7 for our campus like there's literally at least one person praying about and over liberty university they do uh caesar which is basically um, you have hours of community service you have to complete every semester, which I think is really awesome. It's like being the hands and feet of Christ, like beyond just like our campus and like going off and like helping other people, which is really neat. And I really did realize this past year that my faith should be connected to everything that I do. Everything that I do should uh, really exemplify the life and work of Jesus Christ. That's one thing that Ellie has really encouraged me to do in my walk with faith. As frustrating as people make, like, it may seem to not be able to have guys and girls in the same, like, dorm rooms, but I think that really does encourage your walk with the Lord because it's, like, relieving you of that kind of, like, temptation of all the different, like, things that can go on. So I think they do have our best interests at heart with that. I love Liberty. I've only been here for, like, a few weeks, and I've never felt, like, more at home, and this is the furthest away from home I've ever been, and I think a lot of it has to do with just, like, the genuinity and the just the faith it's, it's all it's all around it's kind of the center center of the school i think that's why everyone's so open to everyone everyone is so nice and, and willing to meet new people and that's the cool thing like i've met so many people and we still talk to this day from my first day of being there like you can just feel everybody is like showing god's love here my faith has been influenced a lot by LU, especially with just your friends. You have a lot of friends who have a lot of the same mindsets. It's just a really cool atmosphere. I think the, the main reason, if I had to pick one main reason of why I went to Liberty is because of the atmosphere. Okay, hi guys, it is Thursday. Um, it's 11, like 11, and my class is at 11.15 and I'm running late because I guess that's me every single day and I'm always running late. So, um, pray for me. <sighs> but yeah, I'm just on my way to my creation class and then I have anatomy lecture. I'm gonna go to the rot and then I have my lab and I'm gonna hang out with Daniel. So I am back at my dorm. So my class ends at 12.30 and the next one starts at 12.45. However, my professor literally, like he let us out early and good thing he did because my wrap dress broke and nothing was holding that together except my bare hands and I had to sprint back here, get changed and oh now I have to try to make it to this 12.45 class and it's like 12.33 and like, it's a, it's, it's a struggle and I'm really struggling and you know, it just praise me to God for allowing these little things to work out and for giving me these opportunities to like not have a complete mess of a day. So this is what I changed into. I put this little blouse on and then I have my denim skirt and the feelers. It's not the best thought out outfit, but literally I have to go and sprint to class. So it's good for what it is. Hey, let's go. Let's go for let's go okay. for a hike. Let's do it. Go lead the way, Daniel. <laughs> We're nested in between the Blue Ridge Mountains here at Liberty. Liberty University? Is that where we are? I think so. <laughs> okay. Where's our turn? I told you. No, you didn't. You, go. you paid attention to my map. 
<laughs> I did it. I know. <laughs> it's a map. A little, a small clip. It's just like not even. <laughs> it's a trail. Yeah. <laughs> sure, let's go. I trust you. Be oh, thank you, Daniel. What if we see a snake? Uh, just scream. It'll usually go away. But if we seriously see a snake, Daniel, that's all you. You're gonna have to handle that. There's no snakes in Virginia, silly. There's so many snakes in Virginia Beach right now, there's an issue. Oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> right now we're at Daniel's apartment Daniel and Peter are fighting per usual hi <laughs> oh look it's Jared say hi to the vlog hi oh Peter's shirtless like usual alright goodbye <laughs> oh I miss it. I always miss the good content. Now, yeah, I miss the good. I got one with new cheese in it. What is happening right now? Oh, you're too nice of a bean. <laughs> okay. I'm so bad. Oh uh, yeah. It's a week. It's a week long. It's a oh you Peter. <laughs> Right. Before, Cut it. Okay, 26. What is, sorry. What is one thing you would do or change? Hold up. All right, I'll break. Okay. Um. Is there anything that you would do different as a new student? What is one thing you would change or do better as a Liberty University student? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't, I liked my first, I liked my first year at, at Liberty. I would say try to maybe space out your classes so you don't have four a day um, on a convocation day because that's a lot. Love how my first year went. I love it. I love the people that I met. And the only thing I changed is the way I went up on my classes. And that's not, that's just me. I was very, not indecisive. I want. I want to do a lot of things. I, I love a lot of different things, and I was just trying to put them all together. So, like switching my majors, like I'm so kind of stressed about that. And the only thing I would change is how I came in, going to my classes. Well, for one thing, I never visited campus, uh, so that was a little bit of a struggle. So I would probably say that housing. I would probably choose a different building, one that's one less expensive, and two just like bigger maybe like east um, like more community I came in here with a lot of expectations of how things were gonna how girls were gonna be in particular and it kind of like hurt me making friends a little bit um, just because I'm so like I get so jaded to girls um, like from my past that I felt like Everyone was going to be fake, and honestly, there are a lot of really genuine people here, so just oh, come here with an open mind and ready to make friends. I would definitely say putting yourself out there more. Uh, this is a high school. Everyone doesn't know you. Uh, there's people from all over the world here, and they honestly don't care about who you are unless you go out there and you tell them. So try to get connected. Mine this new semester is to be more outgoing and meet new people and still not be so shy and just go to things like if LU's doing something cool and you hear people go like that's my also my advice from you and coming students is just be yourself 
everybody has struggles so don't try to like hide your struggles because i guarantee you somebody on your call is going through something very similar to you if not the same or struggling with the same thing and if you're open about it you get more people to pray for you and you might find somebody that you can talk to and open up to about it and i really don't think lu is very judgy i mean you definitely have people who do judge. All right, happy Friday. Today is Friday, and right now I think it's 8.20, something along those lines. I'm getting coffee with Jolie. Uh, we're going to Dunkin' because Dunkin' over Starbucks any day. But yeah, I'm just gonna get coffee with her. Convo is at 10.30. I'm gonna have to clean my room because room checks. I have my New Testament class at 12, 12 to, wait, yeah, 12 to 12.50 and then I'm going home. So today's gonna be a short day. This is gonna conclude the vlog. Okay, and just in case you didn't know, Duncan is on the first floor in Commons. Duncan, Commons one, four, floor one. And you have the Duncan at the bottom. And it's a quick walk from east, or at least where I live in east, because I live right by the tunnel. So I'm here. <laughs> gonna mask up. You're leaving tonight, right? I am after my class at one. Spending time with Jolie is, it's a pleasure. As always, I love her. She has such a sweet heart. And I love just praying with people and praying over our food and, you know, just seeing someone being happy. And I met one of her friends that I've been wanting to meet. Her name was Hannah. And yeah, so I think today's gonna be a really good day. I'm very excited, very hopeful. I'm so ready to go home. Not because I don't like Liberty, but because I miss, I miss my family. Also, subscribe to Mama K's YouTube channel. She's really coming back at it. She rebranded herself as Mama K. Like, she changed her name. She changed her artwork. She's really going for it. And we stand Mama K. Mama K is everything and more. She is iconic. And if you're not subscribed to Mama K, I really don't know what you're doing. So, yeah, all of my Liberty friends, like, they're really shooting for the stars. Like, Mama K has her YouTube channel. Will has his YouTube channel. Check that out. All of these are going to be linked in the description box below. Daniel. Daniel is making a podcast with his roommate, Jared, about Liberty. So if you want more Liberty information, definitely watch it. They haven't posted their first podcast together yet, but they recorded it last night. So we'll see when that goes up. May or may not be linked in the description box below. <laughs> or you can just listen to Daniel's podcast that he has on his own. It's I think it's called the What's Hot podcast definitely recommend listening to episode two uh specifically silly songs with dan if you really need to pick me up it's everything i'm just confused why he didn't go on american idol <laughs> anyways yeah i have to plug my friends because they're so amazing and they're doing big things like wow i know some famous people <laughs> but seriously i'm so proud of them and i'm so proud of everything they're doing especially when they're stewarding the kingdom and really trying to spread the love of christ that is everything and more so check them out i will link as much as i can in the description box below okay so to finish things off um a piece of advice that i had give to any new student like whether you be a transfer or you just be some somebody that's graduating high school and deciding to go to liberty um i don't know any any advice for incoming students it's kind of hard not hard but like you literally have no idea what God's gonna do. Um, he always does more abundantly than we can ever ask. So um, if I thought back to what I thought Liberty was gonna be like a month ago versus where I am now, it's like blown my expectations out of the water. And I, I get excited for every day, even though I have class and homework and I am excited when I wake up in the morning to see like what's 
like what the day is gonna be so like I mentioned a lot before throughout this video really put yourself out there if you're not outgoing like I know it may seem like weird at first but like try to leave your door open just try to say hi to as many people as possible because people are really friendly down there they do want to get to know you they do want to be your friend you just have to sometimes be the first one to take that first step and get to know some people and also there's going to be tons of events even though um COVID is obviously still a very real thing um liberty is trying to do their best to still keep us safe but still do a lot of welcoming events so you will be able to meet a lot of people that first week and i encourage you to go to as many as possible don't make the same mistake i did uh because i was feeling really lonely and uh, really upset and confused on where i was and my walk with christ and why i was at liberty uh until i really started to get connected with people and start moving in my faith i guess be open be, be willing to meet new people. Be willing to go out of your comfort zone because if you go out of your comfort zone, you're gonna find, you're gonna find where you fit. You're gonna find what you love to do. You're gonna find the new you in a sense. No, just have fun. Do what you love to do. If there's nothing there that you wanna do, create it. But I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something you wanna do. Just make the best of everything that you have in front of you. Just, just do it, do it to the best of your ability. Uh, Go to the gym because the gym is absolutely amazing. Go play some intramural basketball. Dude, the basketball is absolutely insane. You know, focus on school. Don't focus on, you know, boys or girls or whoever's about to, I don't know. Don't focus on dating. Um, I'm not saying dating's bad. Dating's great. It's fine. You know, that's fine if you want to, if, if you're looking to get married. But I'm saying don't feel pressured um, because that's, so I didn't feel pressured and I had a great first year. I really enjoyed it. Met a lot of really nice people. Got on the Dean's List both semesters. So make that your goal. <laughs> make that your goal to excel in, um, in your academics because that's technically what you're paying thousands of dollars for. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Put yourself out there. Like seriously, just go up to people like, oh, I follow you on Instagram. Like introduce yourself. Um, Chances are, I mean, like, if you're new, I mean, especially if you're at, like, the freshman events, like, pretty much everyone there is also a freshman, or at least they're there because they're looking for friends. <laughs> so, definitely go put yourself out there. Everyone pretty much there is looking for friends. So, like, don't be shy. Just, I mean, uh, I would be shy, but, like, really try your best to not be shy and just go out there and put yourself out there. Just be ready for the time of your life <laughs> and jesus said amen, amen. <laughs> for the most part like everybody's so understanding and i think being yourself opening up just being raw being yourself is just the best way to make friends and find out who you are and even like have people pray for you so that's my advice and i hope everybody who sees this or if you're coming to LU, like I hope you guys have a great time. I'd love to be friends. I hope y'all have an amazing day. But yeah, I kind of just went on a tangent and I don't really know where that went in. But yeah, I mean, hey, Liberty's pretty cool. Pretty dope school. I wouldn't change it. Um, Definitely go to the football games. But hey, if you see me on campus, say what's up. Name's Justice. People call me J-Mac too. So you can call me J-Mac. I really don't care. That's, what, that's my baseball nickname. That's what people called me. But... So yeah, if there's anything else you need me to do, just let me know. Peace. That's all of my recommendations for you guys. Uh, I hope this video really benefit you. Uh, number one, I just wanna say congratulations on hopefully attending Liberty University. It's the greatest school in the world. It's truly fantastic. Absolutely love it. Uh, and I just will continuously pray for you, pray for your well-being, pray for your academics, uh, and I ask that you would just open your heart to what God has to do in your life while you're on campus. Thank you. All right, Christina, have fun editing this. I know it took forever.
Goodbye. Okay, actually, goodbye. Okay, actually, okay, bye.